This one.
Yeah, yeah, you, uh, probably maybe better uh, the front. Oh, but right. either, so, either is fine. The enters will be here, so, but I think but, it's but fine. You don't it's have fine. the sacristy, right? Books are better, I think, but... <laughs> well, again, that one, yeah. Yeah, no, congratulations. Congratulations, this is exciting. But as, as you like, we'll just be chanting around you, no problem. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi, congratulations. Somebody. Okay. I thought uh, she said Anthony was coming. Anthony, Anthony who? Thing. I thought she said some other. Oh, she may have meant you. How are you? I was laughing at him. <laughs> like. One Michael Murta. Teach that guy something. You will stay here for pictures. So we'll take it to you. Yeah. Everything. 
Sing to our God with the melody of praise. Rejoice with us today with gladness. In the resurrection of the Lord Christ, today the prophecies are full. sayings of the four fathers are real In the name of 
our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the statue of perfection and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this Orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union and position of the marriage of the blessed Orthodox son Nicholas to his betrothed, the blessed Orthodox daughter Georgina, if is Marot in Jev Nutiviot, Pipantokara, Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the statute of perfection, and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this Orthodox assembly, and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union and the marriage of the Blessed Orthodox daughter, Georgina, to her betrothed, the Blessed Orthodox son, Nicholas. Blessed be his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, our... Uh, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the Statue of Perfection and the author of the Law of Graces, we complete in this Orthodox Assembly and before the altar of the Lord of Hosts, the union of marriage and possession of the Blessed Orthodox Son Nicholas to his betrothed, the Blessed Orthodox Daughter Georgina. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus Let us give thanks for the beneficent and the merciful God, the Father of our Lord, 
Godan Savior, Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantokara, Tor to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord, Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for every condition concerning every condition and in every condition. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to you, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this earth. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us and help us and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times. And bless the dead bride and groom, Georgina and Nicholas, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this bridegroom and his bride and from this your place that is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us for it is you have given us the authority to do the children and serpent and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. Nem 
and Georgina and through the pledge of fellowship and grant them the sign of their union so that through the bond of love they may be unified in harmony and say unto them my peace I give you both my peace I leave with you for you are the peace of us all and unto you do we offer the glory and honor with your only begotten son and the Holy Spirit the giver of life and out of all times of the age of all ages I mean Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who had ornamented the sky with the stars and adorned the earth with the splendor of the many different kinds of fruitful plants, who granted humanity the heavenly things and bestowed upon it rest on the earth. Now also we ask you, O good one, the lover of mankind, to bless these vestments so that they become for your two servants who will wear them through the pleasure of your goodness, vestments of glory and salvation. Amen. Amen. Of joy and delight. Amen. Amen. Preserve them both pure in soul, body, and spirit. Amen. Amen. That their life be healthy, peaceful, and chaste through the act of righteousness. Grant them both heavenly and earthly comfort, that they become rich through the acts of righteousness. Fill their houses and storage places with all blessings, and may they become worthy of doing your pleasure at all times. For you are merciful, plenteous in mercy and righteous, and to use due glory with your good Father and Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is one and sits with you now and forever unto age of all ages. Amen. The spiritual raiment covers my call and the girdle of jewels my has put on the raiment of chastity has been given to this bridegroom and the crown of joy has been placed upon his head as it is said by David, the psalmist, you have made glory and honor a crown to him to no
Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. Reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Ephesians. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies, he who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and his church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. The grace of God the Father be with you all. The Spirit of Comfort came down upon the apostles on the feast of Pentecost, and they spoke in many tongues.
Ceros, Agios Adanatoso, Anastas Ecton Necron, Que Anelfon Estos Oranos Eleison Imas, Ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us, glory to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of the ages of an O Holy Trinity have mercy upon us. Epi brosem Christosite here in a Jesus Christ, our God, who said to us, and the honor disciples and all the apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen in them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of you. Oh, saints, pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also, Master, all those who have been us to remember them in our supplications and their prayers which we offer up unto you, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us. is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Alleluia. fruitful vine in the very heart of your house, your children like all the plants all around your table. Alleluia, Alleluia, Bechenestos of Ton Fevol, Geniedmo, Toa, Abshe. 
to our teacher, St. Matthew, the evangelist. May his blessing Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Jesus had finished these sayings, that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea, beyond the Jordan, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, testing him and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. Glory be 
to God forever, night of what Who are in heaven, the Lord of our Father, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O you who created the heaven and the earth, the sea, and everything therein, and ornamented them with your wisdom, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy upon us. man in his image after his likeness and please him with the paradise of joy we ask you O lord to hear us and have mercy upon us lord have mercy oh you who created woman from adam's side and gave her to him as a helper fit for him we beseech you to hear us and have mercy upon us said Abraham and Sarah and made her a wife for him and granted him the title of the head of the patriarch we beseech you O Lord to hear us and have mercy upon us Lord have mercy oh, you preserved Isaac and chose for him Rebecca and delivered him from his enemies we ask you Lord to hear us and have mercy upon us O you blessed Jacob and gave him Rachel as a wife and did grant them to be heirs of the promise. We ask you, Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. O oh, you who raised up Joseph and granted him as an F as a wife, and through him you sustained all the land of Egypt. We ask you, Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Pleased to be born of a virgin in the fullness of time and enlightened mankind, we ask you, o Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Oh, you attended the wedding of Cain of Galilee. Bless this marriage as you bless that marriage. We beseech you, o Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Kyrie eleison. God, who transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his divinity, bless your two servants and purify them with your love for mankind. We ask you, Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. Oh, you attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee and blessed that wedding and transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of your divinity. 
Bless and guard this wedding of your two servants, Nicholas and Georgina, in peace, harmony, and love, and protect them. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Hear us, O you who are beneficent and compassionate and full of goodness and affection. O God, make us glorify your goodness, O lover of mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Sophia Theobros Romain, Kiria Laison, Kiria Laison, Genom with me. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pentecostal, creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who is spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. eternal and everlasting, who has no beginning, whose wisdom has no limit, and whose power has no end, who made man from the earth and gave him a woman out of his side and accommodated her, accommodated her for him as a helper, fit for him as it pleases your lordship and according to your goodness, because it is not good for a man to be alone. We ask you also now, our king, to join you to your two servants, Nicholas and Georgina, to be united to each other in one body and to enter into the law of joy and to abide in your truthful teachings. Grant them a living fruit out of the womb so that they rejoice in the birth of good children and have quiet and peaceful times. Prepare them for every good work through Christ Jesus our Lord, through whom the glory, honor, dominion, and adoration of the one to you, the Holy Spirit, life, girl, is one essence with you now at all times, the age of all ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, to us and hear us with unworthy sinner and established the union of your two servants, Nicholas and Georgina. Deliver them from all evil and lengthen their life with length of days that they may live in meekness, calmness, endurance, and submission, and keep them blameless and without offense. Enlighten their hearts and understanding so that they may always do your will because you are merciful, plenteous in mercy to all who cry out to you and do ye send up unto you glory, honor, and worship now and forever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. <laughs> Father, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who anointed out of the fruit of the rich olive tree, priests, kings, and prophets, we beseech and entreat you, good Lord, the lover of mankind, who bless this oil with blessings so that it becomes an oil to sanctify your servant, Nicholas and Georgina. Amen. Amen. A weapon of righteousness and justice. Amen. Amen. An anointment of 
impurity and in corruption. Amen. Amen. Light and unfading beauty. Amen. Amen. Joy, ornament, and true comfort. Amen. Salvation and victory over all the deeds of the adversary. Amen. Amen. Renewal and salvation for their souls, bodies, and spirit. Amen. Amen. Richness with the fruit of good deeds. Amen. are countless, whose goodness is beyond comprehension, accept our supplications unto you, guard your two servants, Nicholas and Georgina, protect their unity, keep their bed in purity, fortify them by your pure angels, and send upon us from your prepared habitation a multitude of your compassions, disperse our many iniquities by your goodness, and grant us also to be in the places of rest in your saints in the heavenly kingdom. Through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O holy God, who crowned the saints with unfading crowns and reconciled the heavenly and earthly and united them, O you, our Master, now also bless these crowns which we prepared to be set upon your two servants to be for them crowns of glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Crowns of blessing and salvation. Amen. Amen. Crowns of joy and happiness. Amen. Amen. Crowns of jubilation and delight. Amen. you and justice. Amen. Amen. Crowns of wisdom and understanding hearts. Amen. Amen. Crowns of comfort and confirmation. Amen. servants who shall wear them the angel of peace and the bond of love deliver them from all evil thoughts and vile desires deliver them from every weight of cunning and from every devilish hardship let your mercy be upon them hear the voice of their supplication set your fear in their hearts manage their lives without delay unto old age make them rejoice by beholding the sons and daughters whom they shall beget Make them useful in your one only holy Catholic and apostolic Orthodox Church. Confirm them in the Orthodox faith to the end. Lead them in the way of your righteousness through the pleasure of your good Father and Holy Spirit. Now and forever unto age of all ages. Amen. Place the crowns, O priest of Emmanuel. Place the crowns, O shepherd of Israel. Place the crowns in joy and jubilation upon Nicholas, the bridegroom, and Georgina, the bride. upon your two servant crowns of unconscionable grace. Amen. Amen. Crowns of 
elevated and everlasting glory. Amen. Amen. Grounds of unopposed, unopposed and unattacked good faith and they bless all their action. Amen. Amen. Our God, our giver of all good things and glory and honor due to you with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is one of essence with you now and that or forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Crown them with glory and honor, O Father. Sevenfold, O bridegroom, and your helpman. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May you bless our father Adam with Eve, and Abraham with Sarah, and Isaac with Rebekah. Bless this marriage. May he who blessed Jacob in his marriage, and Hannah, the mother of Samuel, bless this marriage. May he who blessed Joseph with Athanas and Zechariah with Elizabeth and Mary, the mother of the bridegroom, and the rest of the blessed women, bless this marriage. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now, since you have been present at this blessed time, before the sanctuary of the Lord of hosts and his holy altar and this Orthodox gathering, you have been joined by this blessed marriage and holy crowning. According to this rite and this law, so also the rest of the fathers, the believers, took one wife 
in purity and cleanness for the sake of descendants and childbearing. So you should know each other's rights and submit yourselves to one another and let each of you be faithful to the other according to our teacher, Paul the Apostle. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but her husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Receive, O bridegroom and bride, O Jesus Christ has given her to you, and at the hand of our Father the priest has granted her to you. Lord have mercy. Blessed Tan Nicholas, who is supported by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you are required to receive your wife at this blessed hour with a clear conscience, a pure soul, and a full heart. Excel to doing all that is good for her. Have compassion on her and hasten to do that which will gladden her heart. Today you are responsible for her instead of her parents. You have both been crowned with the heavenly crowning and the spiritual marriage. The grace of God has settled upon you. When you accept what has been commanded of you, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, grant you blessed the children by whom God will delight your eyes, grant you a long age and prosper life, and prosper your outcome in the life and the, the one to come here. Listen, O bride, and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. For your chastity has appealed to the bridegroom, and he is your husband, and to him you will submit. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And you, blessed daughter and happy bride Georgina, you have heard what was commanded of your husband, so you are required to honor and respect him. Do not act against his opinion, but increase your obedience to him many times over what was commanded. For today you are alone with him, and he is responsible for you and instead of your parents. So you must receive him with joy and cheer. Do not frown in his face. Do not neglect any of his rights upon you, and fear God in all matters with him because God commanded you to submit to him and ordered you to obey him as your parents. So be with him as our mother Sarah was obedient to our father Abraham and used to address him, my Lord. Thus God looked upon her obedience to him, blessed her, gave her Isaac in her old age, and made her offspring as the stars of heaven and the sand on the seashore. As you listen to what we commanded you to do, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, and blessing will descend upon your home, and he will grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes. Understand? Your marriage and a revered crown Blessed, O Lord, Emmanuel, as you bless the wedding of Cana of Galilee, for Nicholas the groom and Georgina the bride. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy.
bless you, my brother, and bless your wife, as he blessed Noah and his wife when they left the ark and populated the earth, and their seed, and, and he blessed Abraham and Sarah, and Isaac with Rebekah, and Jacob in his marriage. May the blessing of the Lord, to his name is honor, at the wedding of Cana of Galilee, settle upon you, and your home unify you in harmony, create spiritual love in your hearts, sustain your livelihood, fill your house and grant you a long age and a happy life with blessed children. We ask him to accept from us the prayers of this blessed crowning, reward us with the eternal for the temporal, the heavenly for the earthly, and forgive us our sins, our iniquities, and transgressions, and keep away from us the traps and the cunning of the devil and evil enemy. May he keep the rest of the brethren who attended with us with his protective right hand all the days of their life and fill their homes and keep away from them the temptation of the enemy and grant them heavenly joy free from trouble. Through the intercession of the lady of us all and the pride of our race, the lady, the pure virgin, the honored mother of salvation who is preferred over all mankind the pure Saint Mary, and the honored chosen martyr, Saint Mark the Evangelist and the Apostle, and the prayers of Saint Philobatir Mercurius, and all the righteous martyrs, and the holy saints, amen, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus our Lord, bow your heads to the Lord. Before you, O Lord, let us attend in the fear of God. Amen. 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 Give us your peace and establish for us your peace. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear us when we pray. Thank you, Adiatota, saying, Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the communion, the gift of the Holy Spirit be with you. Live in peace and peace of God be with you all. Amen.
today the prophecies are fulfilled. And the singing of the forefathers are by the resurrection of the Lord from among the dead. who have fallen asleep. <laughs> the Lord arose as one who And as one who is sated with one,